Obviously a larger tool battery is going to offer more runtime, but does it actually offer it more torque? Is it possible that your tool is underperforming because of the battery size? Well today we're going to test two amp hour batteries against some very large batteries and we're going to find out if it makes any difference. In the first test we'll see if bigger batteries help or hurt impact driver performance. Then we'll see if battery size helps the drill produce more torque. We'll see if a reciprocating saw cuts faster with bigger batteries. Then we'll compare battery performance on an air blower. Obviously prices are subject to change, but right now this DeWalt 2 amp hour battery costs approximately $89. Sales made in Korea, pack assembled in China. The DeWalt 2 amp hour battery is pretty light at 350 grams, which is around three quarters of a pound. Let's see if battery size makes any difference using an impact driver. Impact drivers use a relatively low amount of current compared to some of the bigger tools. This is a really simple test setup with a couple of hydraulic rams wedged between two really thick pieces of steel. The test will last right at 15 seconds. We'll see how much pressure each one of these impact drivers makes using the different size batteries. I'll be using a real high quality synthetic grease during the test just to make sure we get accurate test results. We'll start off with a two amp hour DeWalt battery. The DeWalt impact driver that I'll be using has more wear on it than the other brands. So this is definitely not meant to be an impact driver comparison. One thousand five hundred twenty five PSI using a two amp hour battery at a price of one hundred twenty nine dollars for four amp hours or thirty two dollars and twenty five cents per amp hour is this DeWalt brand. Cells are made in Malaysia and pack assembled in Mexico. The four amp hour battery weighs six hundred and thirteen grams or just over one pound. 1,625 PSI with a 4 amp hour battery, which is 125 PSI more than the 2 amp hour battery. At a price of $245 or $20.42 per amp hour is this DeWalt FlexVolt. The battery can be used in either a 20 volt system or a 60 volt. According to the packaging, the battery is made in South Korea. Sales made in Korea and pack assembled in Mexico. The 12 amp hour battery weighs 1,446 grams or nearly 3 pounds. 1,875 PSI, so the bigger batteries did help the DeWalt perform better. At a price of $89 is this Makita 2 amp hour 18 volt battery. Sales made in Singapore and further processed in China. The 2 amp hour battery weighs 380 grams. 1,625 PSI with the 2 amp hour battery. At a price of $109 for 4 amp hours or $27.25 per amp hour is this Makita brand. Sales made in Korea and further processed in Vietnam. The 4 amp hour battery weighs 619 grams, which is about 240 grams more than the 2 amp hour battery. 1,950 PSI with the 4 amp hour battery, which is 325 PSI more than the 2 amp hour battery. At a price of $159 for 6 amp hours or $26.50 per amp hour is this Makita brand. Now, the 6 amp hour battery is the largest I could find for Makita. Sales made in Singapore and further processed in China. The 6 amp hour battery only weighs about 60 grams more than the 4 amp hour battery and the case seems to be about the same size. 2200 PSI which is 250 PSI more than the 4 amp hour battery and 575 PSI more than the 2 amp hour battery. Also at a price of $89 is this Milwaukee M18 Red Lithium 2 amp hour battery. Sales made in Korea, Malaysia, Japan and Singapore with further processing in China. 428 grams for the 2 amp hour Milwaukee. Unfortunately the Milwaukee broke the socket adapter. Wow, the Milwaukee broke two socket adapters in a row. Hopefully the third time is the charm. 2600 PSI with the two amp hour battery, very impressive. At a price of $125 for four amp hours or $31.25 per amp hour is this Milwaukee brand. Sales made in Korea, Malaysia, Japan, and Singapore with further processing in China. The Milwaukee four amp hour battery weighs 728 grams, which is about 300 grams more than the two amp hour battery. The Milwaukee pegged the gauge in 12 seconds, about 3000 PSI, very impressive. At a price of $219 for 12 amp hours or $18.25 per amp hour is this Milwaukee brand. 50% more power, we're gonna test that. On the back of the Milwaukee packaging is a display showing the different tools as well as the amount of demand. A hammer drill applies quite a bit more demand than an impact driver. And finally, a reciprocating saw has an even higher demand than a hammer drill. Sales made in Korea with further processing in China. The 12 amp hour battery is the heaviest yet at 1,548 grams or a little bit more than three pounds. Milwaukee's own load protection is kicking in, keeping the tool from running constantly. Apparently the battery is just too much for the impact driver. I allowed the impact driver to cool down for about an hour. Let's try this again. And once again, the Milwaukee's overload protection is kicking in. There are many ways to look at value and cost per amp hour is one factor to consider. The larger batteries offer a much lower cost per amp hour compared to the smaller ones. Depending on the application, battery size and weight can be a big factor in battery selection. The 12 amp hour batteries add about two and a half pounds more weight to the tool compared to the two amp hour battery. So the question is, is the larger battery worth the extra weight? 
Impact drivers don't require nearly as much current as larger tools, but all of the tool brands benefited from a larger battery. While the 4 amp hour battery boosted the Milwaukee's performance by 15%, the 12 amp hour battery caused the overload protection to power down the tool. Hammer drills require quite a bit more current compared to impact drivers, so let's test them next. I just finished charging all the batteries, so let's test the no-load RPM. The DeWalt is rated for 2,000 RPM in top gear, 1,997 with the 2 amp hour battery. 2005 RPM for the 4 amp hour battery, which is slightly better than the 2 amp hour battery's performance. 2012 RPM for the 12 amp hour battery, which is the best yet. The Makita is rated for 2100 RPM in second gear. 2092 RPM for the 2 amp hour Makita, which is just short of its 2100 RPM rating. 2131 RPM, so the Makita made nearly 40 RPM more with the 4 amp hour battery. 2165 RPM for the 6 amp hour battery, or 65 RPM over its rating. 1,776 RPM for the Milwaukee 2 amp hour battery. 1,814 RPM for the Milwaukee 4 amp hour battery, which is nearly 40 RPM faster than the 2 amp hour battery. 1,869 RPM for the Milwaukee 12 amp hour battery, or over 90 RPM faster than the 2 amp hour. In the next test, we're going to see how much torque each one of these drills makes using the different battery sizes driving in this half inch by 10 inch lag bolt. I'll be using this digital torque adapter to keep track of the maximum amount of torque produced by each one of the drills. Once the drill comes to a stop, I'll power up the drill one more time and then we'll look at the torque adapter. 334 inch pounds with a 2 amp hour battery. 415 inch pounds for the DeWalt with the 4 amp hour battery. So 81 inch pounds more than the 2 amp hour battery. 617 inch pounds, very impressive. So 202 inch pounds more with the 12 amp hour battery compared to the 2 amp hour. 2 Makita with the 2 amp hour battery came to a stop at 274 inch pounds. The 4 amp hour battery made a huge difference at 516 inch pounds or 242 inch pounds more than the 2 amp hour battery. Five hundred and forty two inch pounds or twenty six inch pounds more than the four amp hour battery. Two hundred and eighty nine inch pounds for the two amp hour Milwaukee battery. Four hundred and ninety eight inch pounds or two hundred nine inch pounds more with the four amp hour battery. Six hundred and eight inch pounds for the twelve amp hour Milwaukee or more than twice the torque compared to the two amp hour battery. While the impact drivers only saw a 15 to 23% increase in torque from using a larger battery, drills used a lot more current and experienced a huge gain in performance compared to the 2 amp hour batteries. Milwaukee and Makita produced more than twice as much torque and DeWalt was nearly double. Compared to an impact driver or a drill, a reciprocating saw uses a lot more juice. So let's see how the batteries perform cutting through nail embedded pressure treated 4x4s. The Milwaukee Axe is a very aggressive demolition blade that requires a lot more power to move the blade. I'll add 10 pounds of weight to the shoe of the saws and I'll use a new blade before testing each battery. The screws will serve as a guide to help get the blade started. Be testing the DeWalt with the 20 volt brushless motor. It also has the FlexVolt Advantage. DCS 386B DeWalt Reciprocating Saw. Up to 50% more power with the FlexVolt battery. And the 2 amp hour battery really struggled on the first cut at 15.92 seconds. It was slightly faster in the second cut at 14.95. The battery really struggled on the third cut with the slowest time yet at 19.92 seconds. I just installed a new blade so let's test out the 4 amp hour battery. And the 4 amp hour battery was nearly twice as fast as the 2 amp hour battery at only 8.77 seconds. 
It was slightly faster in the second cut at 8.11 seconds. It made its fastest cut yet at 7.7 .7 seconds on the third pass. I just installed a new blade, so let's test a 12 amp hour battery. The blade on the saw is moving too fast and is actually slowing down the cutting speed by quite a bit. 15.36 seconds are nearly twice as long as the 4 amp hour battery. The second pass took a little bit longer at 16.12 seconds. The third cut was the fastest yet at 14.85 seconds, which is still nearly half the speed of the 4 amp hour battery. Makita LXT Brushless Reciprocating Saw XRJ05Z The Makita 2 amp hour battery really held back the saw on the first cut with an 18.2 second time. The Makita is slightly faster on the second cut at 17.44 seconds. The Makita did nearly the same on the third pass at 17.59 seconds. Testing the Makita 4 amp hour battery. And the Makita is nearly twice as fast on the first pass at 7.55 seconds. It's slightly slower on the second cut at 7.96 seconds. The Makita made its slowest cut yet with the 4 amp hour battery on the third pass at 9.38 seconds. So the Makita performed quite a bit better with the 4 amp hour battery compared to the 2 amp hour. Testing the 6 amp hour battery. And the Makita made its fastest time yet with the 6 amp hour battery at 7.4 seconds. The 6 amp hour battery did nearly as well on the second cut at 7.45 seconds. The third pass is the slowest of three at 7.86 seconds. So the six amp hour battery seemed perfectly sized for the Makita. To test the Milwaukee batteries, I'll be using this M18 fuel, which has a brushless motor. Model 2720-20. Testing the two amp hour Milwaukee first. Of all the three brands, the Milwaukee did by far the best with a two amp hour battery at only 8.31 seconds. The Milwaukee did slightly better in the second pass at 8.16 seconds with the two amp hour battery. And the Milwaukee did nearly the same on the third pass at 8.21 seconds. So very consistent results for the Milwaukee with the 2 amp hour battery. Testing the Milwaukee 4 amp hour battery. Compared to the 2 amp hour battery, the Milwaukee is actually a little bit slower with the 4 amp hour battery at 8.46 seconds on the first pass. The Milwaukee did nearly the same on the second pass at 8.41 seconds. And the Milwaukee did exactly the same on the third cut at 8.41 seconds. So slightly faster blade speed, but slightly slower cutting speed with the 4 amp hour battery. Testing the 12 amp hour Milwaukee battery. From the sound of the saw, the blade is definitely moving a lot faster, but it's really slowing down the cutting speed. 13.07 seconds on the first pass. And the Milwaukee 12 amp hour battery is slightly faster on the second pass at 12.26 seconds. The Milwaukee 12 amp hour battery is slightly faster again at 11.6 seconds on the third pass. No doubt about it, the larger batteries definitely delivered a higher blade speed, but too much blade speed really slowed down the Dewalt in the Milwaukee when the 12 amp hour batteries were in use. More downward pressure on the saws with the larger batteries would likely improve the cut speed. The Dewalt air blower uses a lot of juice and will really put the batteries to the test. I'll be using these battery adapters so we can use the Makita and the Milwaukee batteries in the Dewalt air blower. The air speed meter is placed 13 inches from the front of the blower and will keep track of the air speed during the five minute test for each brand. All the batteries are fully charged. So let's test a two amp hour Makita first. And the Makita averaged 74 miles per hour at the start of the test and quickly dropped to 70 at the one minute mark. At three minutes, it was down to 69 miles per hour. And Makita shut off at four minutes and 52 seconds. The four amp hour Makita battery started off at 78 miles per hour and held 78 miles per hour at the one minute mark. At three minutes, the Makita dropped to 73. At five minutes, the Makita was down to 69 miles per hour. The Makita 6 amp hour battery started out at 78 miles per hour and stayed at 78 miles per hour at 3 minutes. At 5 minutes, the Makita dropped to 73 miles per hour. The Dewalt 2 amp hour battery started off at 77 miles per hour, but it dropped to 70 after the first minute. At 3 minutes, the Dewalt is still at 70 miles per hour. And the Dewalt 2 amp hour battery barely made it 5 minutes, finishing the test at 60 miles per hour. The Dewalt 4 amp hour battery started the test at 78 miles per hour and dropped to 73 at 3 minutes. At 5 minutes, it's down to 71 miles per hour. The 12 amp hour battery started off at 78 miles per hour and maintained 78 miles per hour for the full 5 minutes of the test. The 2 amp hour Milwaukee started off at 77 miles per hour and dropped to 70 after 1 minute. At 3 minutes, the Milwaukee is down to 69 miles per hour. At 5 minutes, the Milwaukee is at 68 miles per hour. The 4 amp hour Milwaukee started off at 78 miles per hour and dropped to 73 miles per hour after 3 minutes. 
At five minutes, the Milwaukee is down to 69 miles per hour. The 12 amp hour Milwaukee started off at 78 miles per hour and remained at 78 miles per hour for the full five minutes. The 12 amp hour batteries maintained blower airspeed at 78 miles per hour for the full five minutes. However, the four and the two amp hour batteries weren't able to keep up. A larger tool battery definitely made a huge positive impact in some instances, but too much battery is definitely not a good thing for smaller tools. Matching the right size of battery to the tool makes a huge difference. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.